Hi guys, all the knife lovers out there. This one's uh, not one that I've made or anything. It's one that I cleaned up and uh, did a few things too. But just to give you a quick history, I'm having to read off of it here. This, uh, but just to let you know ahead of time, this was my father's knife when he was in the Navy. And uh, so I have a little thing here. It's about 45 years ago. Uh, it was bought uh, when he, uh, I don't know if it was first when he joined the Navy or shortly after, obviously, but. Uh, he was on the USS Demento DD-871. It was a man of war, it was a battleship, I believe, if I remember right. But anyway, uh, this knife has traveled through three continents, 14 countries. It's been uh, the French Riviera, Italian Riviera, the Malta, a bunch of islands, the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, through the islands of the Caribbean, Gitmo, Guantanamo Bay, and up and down the east coast from Northampton to, the, to Key West. And, uh, uh, and a lot more so um, this is a knife that really means a lot to him and he gave it to me uh, since I've been playing around with knives and things recently and um, as far as making them and he's seen what I could do as far as uh, keeping a true edge and keeping it straight and even and everything and he gave it to me and it had a broken tip and I uh, filed that back and got it where it looks about normal this one had too much broken off of it for me to correct. I started to and it, it really, the way it looked, it looked like it was broken off back to here. But I've got it where it's not too bad, but I don't want to take off any more metal than that. I cleaned it up, made it shine again, got it uh, all up real nice and everything. It's actually extremely usable again. Uh, it moves pretty easy, snaps and clicks into place great. You can still see it's got a little bit of oil there from where I was doing some cleaning and stuff. Um, I put an edge back on it. Oops. I say I have. <laughs> it's hard to do around the edge of the camera. But you can see it's pretty sharp. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. Pretty proud of it. I was going to take it back to him, and it's still up to him. He's told me that I could keep it and put it up, but uh, I, I really wouldn't mind if he wants to keep it as long as it is mine one day. <laughs> but uh, one of the things that I was really impressed with, and there again you heard the click back into place. It's great retention on the blades. I've been trying to work on this sheath some, and I've been just, this white in here is the tallow I haven't cleaned out because I'm still adding more to it. Tallow is what I've used a lot on a lot of sheaths and things to m maintain the leather. This one, I can put it on, and I can sit here and let you watch it soak it up. Or I could before. It's actually getting down where it's pretty good now. All of it was like that. And I don't believe I'm going to get this back. It's bendable now. It doesn't feel like it's going to break at all. It feels like it's pretty tough now. But, uh, and I just need to clean out some of the stuff. He said somebody made this for him at one of the ports. I think one of the other sailors. I'm not sure. But I'm not holding it. I, it retains just from the shape of the knife it, and he was explaining it used to go across there and you can kind of tell from over the years how the leather has shrunk up around through here and actually I think it had a little bit more of a dip but I've been trying to feed it as much uh, conditioner as it would take but anyway it's still you have to put it in a certain way to get it hold but it does very good I'm pretty proud of it. I just thought I would show it off. And uh, like I said, he is welcome to keep it if he wants to. Even though he has told me to keep it, it's kind of up to him what he wants to do. But uh, I'd be very proud to have it. Anyway, oh, uh, it, in case you are wondering, it is a case knife, but on the model, all it says is XX. So, anyway. Uh, just wanted to show it off a little bit, show how uh, clean it come out to be. Nice little knife. It's actually not little at all, as you can tell there. It's almost as big as my hand. But uh, anyway, that's my dad's knife from when he was in the Navy. Thanks for watching, guys. Be back with another video soon.